Hey everybody, today uh, a picture of Jared Leto as the Joker was released. Now I have very mixed feelings about this, and let's go over those mixed feelings right now. First, uh, the tattoos, the tattoos, the tattoos. This is what really comes out in this picture. Uh, how I feel about this. I don't like this. I really do not. The first thing that jumps out at me are the smile tattoos. One on his forearm, one on his hand. Those, I think, are really problematic. Because I don't think the Joker could stay still that long for those tattoos. That isn't to say that, that you know, he could threaten some guy. But those, those are to make it, you know, threaten some guy to make it. Um, I, don't, I don't think he's paying for these tattoos is what I mean. This is either a henchman, someone that he kills right away, or he does it himself. These might be self-inflicted type of things, except for the ones that look pretty well done. Now, the, the smiles. These, I, I have some pretty extensive tattoos on my chest, and mine took five hours to do. So can you imagine the Joker sitting in a chair for five hours and not killing someone, not getting up to stretch his legs? I, I mean, I just don't see him being still and passive for that long. I, I, I don't see it in any way. What I think would have been interesting instead is if they would have had a half-done smile and then maybe like a line going across it, like the Joker killed the tattoo artist halfway through the tattoo because he got bored. He just got bored and stabbed the guy in the eyeball, and the guy's the, the tattoo pen flew across his arm. So the, then there's just like half a smile and a line. And I think that could be really cool. Now... The second thing, the ha ha ha's. Okay, there was a, a gang in a TV show, uh, Batman Beyond. This was a future Batman setting, for those of you who don't know, where the Joker was dead and there was a gang called the Jokers with a Z. This looks like graffiti they would do. This is It looks like, like a kid who was trying to be the Joker would make this graffiti. It's really self-referential. It's almost meta. Like this looks like the comic art in the book. And I just don't see why Joker would do this. I also don't see why he would make it look so nice. So polished. I could see like on the back of his hand if he tattooed ha ha ha. But he would do it over and over again on the same spot. Up and down his arm. Um, maybe just on a whim. Writing over other haws. Just over and over again, just his chaotic and so maybe even like a nervous tick while he's in prison or the insane asylum in this case. Again, um, the next thing that I want to talk about is this is the damage tattoo and the skull tattoo with the jester's hat. Now, if you know, I can fill in a story where this makes sense. And there are interesting ways for this to make sense. One thing to think about is the Joker was not always the Joker. These could be hints about who he was before he was the Joker. But uh, I'm not sure if they're going to be that clever with it. Because, uh, you, you know, the Joker, just, just getting in the skull. I mean, he's the Joker. He doesn't need to be scary. Why would he get a scary tattoo? But a normal guy getting a tattoo that's essentially of his id... Like he's, he's getting his, his id tattooed on him and then becoming the Joker. That's very interesting. You know, what if the Joker was a gang member, was kind of a, you know, um, robbed, you know, stole cars and, you know, uh, you know as a teenager, you know, uh, and then he became a Joker later. Well, he might have some of these tattoos. That could be kind of interesting. But all this kind of clown imagery, if, if the Joker got tattoos, I could see him getting like a little palm tree. And to the Joker, that would represent, you know, when he went to Cancun and he killed eight people, I could see him getting a rubber ducky. You know, 
because it's ironic. It, it, it's funny. He's the Joker. He's a terrible psychopath, but he's getting these cute clown things tattooed on him. And not literally clown, but cute, fun children's toys. He can get a banana tattooed on the back of his foot. And there's a lot of things like that. And I'm, I'm just, I, I do not feel that this is really good. Then, then they have the, um, like the Royal Flush gang on there. Well, they have a Spades uh, Flush. And I, I don't know how I feel about that either. It's just kind of like, it, it, it's very referential. Now, the next thing is the teeth. The teeth. Um, this is interesting. There have been some reports, some, some speculation, that this, this isn't the grill, this isn't the fashion statement. Instead, the Joker has got his, his teeth kicked in by Batman, so he had to get metal replacements, which would make sense and, and would be cool. Um, other than that, I'm not really sure what's going on there. The, the Joker, again, does not need to be intimidating. As some people said that he might have got them crowned, but I don't think that makes a whole lot of sense. The Joker does not need to intimidate. The Joker is intimidation. He doesn't need props. His hair, I like the hair. It's, it, it makes sense. It's, it's kind of subdued. It's not um, too over the top. Now the glove and the pinky ring. Again, they've said before this is kind of a glam rock Joker, which I think could be kind of cool. I look forward to seeing more of these tattoos and trying to figure out what's going on. Could it be that these are hints about who he was before he became the Joker? I mean, it, it, that would make sense. I would explain how his mouth, how he had the mouth tattoo. But the, the ha-ha-has, I mean, it's, that just doesn't... It looks like almost like promotional art, you know, the ha's. That's... The makeup looks good. His, um... I really look forward to Jared Leto's acting in this. I'm going to say that right now. His acting, I have a very good feeling about his acting, but this makes me lukewarm on the visuals for Suicide Squad as a whole. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm curious to know what everyone's thinking about this. Am I just being a, a naysayer, a pessimist, or it's just kind of blah? Alright guys, have a good one. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other projects. Thank you.